As you can see, our bus conversion is really coming together, but we're still missing one thing, and that's privacy. We need to install curtains, so I'm starting that project today. I'm just going to worry about getting the curtain rods installed, and we're going to hopefully be making our own curtains for the bus. I found these rod hangers. I thought they were going to work good for the bus, so I grabbed them. You'll see what we're going to do, but they look sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and start fixing these to the wall between each window, and we're going to have a straight rod that goes straight across from one end to the other. Hopefully, if it all goes right. So that is right into the metal framing of the bus, so it's not going anywhere. Okay, so since we got those brackets done, I'm installing a different type of bracket over here. And I installed them on both sides of the closet. That's going to be for our closet rod to hang clothing on. This is what those look like. Simple rod hanger. I'm also going to be adding one right here to the side of our shelf. Just got the last bracket installed. Actually, it was over here. Did one on this end too. We are ready to start making the curtain rods. So I'm going to be making our curtain rods out of three quarter inch conduit. It was honestly just the best option I could find as far as cost and strength. Super rigid and cheap. So I looked at a lot of curtain rods online and I couldn't believe the prices of cheap curtain rods. They were just outrageous. So hopefully this works. I cut my first piece. And to finish off this conduit, I'm going to be putting these little bushing caps on the ends. If I can. So this is what it looks like with the caps on and it just puts a little protective edge on it but it's also going to put this rubber, I mean plastic, in our brackets so it's not metal to metal chattering around. Hopefully this fits perfectly. So like I was saying, you can see those plastic things, they actually make these conduit rods fit perfectly in these one inch hangers. So perfect fit and no rattle. So that's the first step done. That's the closet rod. And now I'm actually gonna be attaching another conduit to that pipe over to this hanger. So I was presented with a kind of unique obstacle where I had to connect two pieces of conduit at a T. And well, they don't make a fitting suitable for that. But after searching around online, I found this. And this is actually a fitting made for conduit. You take this three quarter inch conduit and the fitting locks onto it. It comes with all the hardware to hook it on there. And another conduit fits in this way. So you can make all kinds of stuff. I thought this was really neat. So this was perfect for what we needed. And I got that off Maker Pipe. It's a really neat site where you can make all kinds of stuff out of conduit. Just my type of site. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these in mind for the future. Super well made and I'm looking forward to installing it. So let me get some measurements and we'll get that installed. I left about an inch in there because you gotta leave room for the hardware. Okay. So we have basically a clothes rod for the closet, which I'm in and then the curtain rod for the window. So I'm trying to figure out how to combine two pieces of conduit in a strong way. And I'm gonna try by using these end caps and bolting them together and using them as a coupling. Oh, I'll take a couple of these quarter inch bolts. I mean, that seems like it's working. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been doable in there, I guess. There it is. I put the splice kind of like right in that bracket. It's a little off center, but it's basically right there so that it would help support it too. Yeah, good spot. 
So now we're ready to make the curtains. Yeah, rods are done. These are super strong. Like I said, screwed right into the framing of the bus. They're not going anywhere. That was quick, easy, and affordable. Another project done. So we finished up the curtain rods and they came out pretty good. Awesome. But now we need curtains. And we have them, sort of. We're gonna be making our own curtains out of this fabric, hopefully. And we got this fabric from spoonflower.com. We found this print on there and it just seems so fitting for our bus. It fits the theme perfectly. You guys are gonna love this. Hopefully we don't mess it up and they come out good and you guys will say, wow. <laughs> We're halfway through the first panel. It's been an emotional, mental struggle. <laughs> now it's just getting used to like learning the machine and how it works yeah. and all these things. So much initial learning. But it hasn't been bad at all. And no. we did our first scene. Yep. And you're happy? Yep. Now we're working on the bottom of the curtain. So we're gonna do the top, the bottom, and then the sides. Yeah. If we can get through one curtain today, then that'll be... That'll be an accomplishment. <laughs> We just finished sewing all of the edges and this is what it looks like up close. That's cool. Yeah, looks good. We got a little threads to cut off. But... The edges could be better, but this is our first time doing this, so this is cool. Mm -hmm. So now, we're going to be putting in the grommets on the top edge. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but we're getting ready to put our grommets in. These are just snap together grommets. And they came with this little template that we put on there to trace our circles that we need to cut out. And as far as figuring out how far to space them, that was just up to us. Basically, we figured out uh, we needed an even number so that folded in even folds. We basically just spaced them apart so that when folded, they would fit on our curtain, not be too wide for the space between the curtain rod and the wall. And it was just a little figuring out back and forth. So now I guess we're ready to just cut these out and hope for the best. Okay, we're ready to test out our first curtain. We really wanted to try to just finish one complete curtain 
test it before doing any others just to make sure the size and the style and the look and everything works. We just yeah. want to make sure it's right. Ooh. And now these curtain rods can lock in. There's screws on here to hold them in place. We just didn't tighten those down yet. This is shorter than I expected. It still hangs like a, here's the glass. I know. It's like inches down, so that's fine. Cool. That's neat. Let me get out of the way so you guys can see it. Um, it's kind of a cloudy, rainy day, so it's a little bit gloomy out, not good lighting in here. But I'm sure you guys can get the picture here. It looks really good, it matches the colors. It's awesome. Wow. The first curtain, total success. Yeah. Now this is as wide as the fabric was, so it covers the four foot window. We're happy with that. Uh, that window we'll just cover separately because that's in the closet area and it'll probably be covered by clothing anyway, but we can put something over that window separately. That's fun. That's tropical. Mm hmm It's looking really good in here. Like, look at this with the sink and everything. Yeah. Looks good. We're starting a new curtain today, and I'm starting with the top edge of the curtain where the grommets will be. And we've already folded over this first lip and ironed that. Now we're gonna be folding it over again, about four inches. And the idea is that we just wanna crease the lines where it needs to be so that when we're sending it through the machine, everything stays flat and straight where it should be. And luckily we have our handy little iron that I bought to patch my pants, which are patched in multiple places now and still holding up. This is a vintage iron that we sourced on eBay. And we're still just loving how pretty this fabric is. Yeah, it's awesome and perfect for the bus. On all the edges, we're doing this double fold, so basically fold it under, fold it again. Then we're sewing it, that way we don't have any rough edges hidden on the back, or exposed on the back. Yeah, and then it won't fray and look ugly. We just finished up the last curtain that we have to do. Well, almost the last, the last... The last window curtain. Yeah. Because we still have to do something else. All right, we just finished up marking all the holes. They're gonna have 10 grommets per curtain. I just kind of start in the middle and then cut out to the edge. Just go around. Done. Yep. So I have 30 of these to do now. 10. For the three curtains. Yep. They're done. <laughs> Guys, this is looking awesome. So we had to kind of wedge in between the window and the bed, but there is room back there and it works good enough. And the rest of them are pretty normal. 
they fit the windows pretty good. They don't fit perfectly. It's a little tight, but it's it's pretty close. It's actually really nice. And they'll offer privacy. They look cool. It's really tropical in here now. The mm -hmm. colors look great. The first one was the most intimidating. We were a little slow. We just wanted to get it right. But then afterwards, these three, the last three just flew. Yeah. We chose to do the grommet rings like that because we felt like it was easier when you open them. You know, it's quick and they just fold out of the way easily. And if you just do a regular curtain, they kind of bunch up and it's hard to slide. So we thought this way would be, you know, easier to open and close and just lay flat. Now I do wish we had metal grommets, but these plastic ones were pretty easy to work with and they were pretty cool. They don't slide as nice as I expected, and I don't know if the metal would be any better or if it's just this rough conduit, but they, they kind of bind up when you get all the way straight, and it doesn't want to slide anymore, and I wish it just slid where you wanted them to. Mm -hmm. That's my only complaint. So the curtains are finally done. We've been waiting for this for weeks and weeks, and we finally did it, and they came out awesome. They look like store-bought cur curtains. Yeah, I don't think anybody would ever know. Now we do have a little bit of fabric left and we want to use that to create some long curtains to separate the front area of the bus from the back so that we can kind of block out the windshield and the, the door and the driver's window. Just block all that out with one panel that goes across the front. We'll work on that at some point. We're just not exactly sure how we want to hang that yet. And then we got the back door to worry about. Again, we'll worry about that later. We're just trying to figure it out as we go. We're just happy to get these main windows done. Yeah. Uh, we were thinking we could clip the window curtains together in the middle to seal up the cracks between the windows. So we'll work with it. We'll see how that's going to go. The new sewing machine was awesome. Worked good. Yeah. I a, like that. That was a good buy. I'm glad we bought it and it kind of opens the door to so many other things that we can DIY. So that's mm -hmm. kind of fun. We look forward to seeing where that brings us. But I think that's all we have for today. The bus is basically done. I mean, we're going to be doing a tour soon. Yeah, Com final tour. So look forward to that. But for now, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.